AVL tree is binary search tree that balance itself. Since it is binary search tree, in left subtree of each node are smaller elements and on right subtree are bigger elements. But also every node has something called balance. And it's just difference between height of right subtree and height of left subtree, where height is number of nodes to most further leave. So, for example, if we count balance of root, we count the number of nodes to furthest leaf in left subtree, and then do the same for right subtree. So, balance of root is equal to minus 1. Yes, balance can be negative. But important thing to know is that balance have to be bigger than minus 2 and smaller than 2. Let's try this again for the left child of our root. We count the number of nodes to furthest leaf in left subtree and then do the same for right subtree. The balance is equal to 1. But sometimes when we add or delete node, tree becomes unbalanced. For example, if I delete 48, the root balance factor would be minus 2. So we need some tools to renew the balance. And these tools are called rotations. So we have basic left and right rotations. When we do the left rotation, you move the top node to a place where its left child should be. And the other two nodes go to a place where their parent used to be. Basically, the same thing happened with right rotation, except the top node moves to its right child. These are the simpler rotations, which take place when the balance of top node and its child node are both negative or both positive. But when these balances have different signs, double rotations take place. As you can see in this example, top node have balance of 2 and the node under have balance of minus 1. So we apply right rotation on second and third node. This will result into this. And we will solve this by simple left rotation. And the last rotation takes place when the top node have balance of minus 2, but the node under have balance of 1. This rotation is called left-right. So first we rotate 2 and 3 to left, get this, and apply right rotation. I skipped over the cases where these nodes have child. In the left rotation, it's pretty simple. We just take the left child of 2 and set it as right child of 1. Every other subtree stays the same. Pretty much the same happens with right rotation. Only now we are talking about right child of 2 and we will set it as left child of 1. Let's look at double rotations. As before, when we do left-right rotations, we first rotate node 2 and 3. And since it is a simple left rotation, the B subtree will become right child of node 2. And after that, we have only simple right rotation, and I showed you before how to do that. The right-left rotation is the same, just in different directions. So we rotate node 2 and 3 to right, and in this case, subtree B becomes left child of node 2. After this rotation, all we need to do is apply a left rotation, and I already showed you how to do that. This was introduction to IVL trees. Make sure to check out my other videos. If you like this video, hit the like button. For more of these, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.